I'm going to tell you about a valuable little ground cover plant here. It's really tiny, really short to the ground. And it's not even higher than the moss. And that's called uh, squawberry. There's another more official name for it, um, but I can't think of it right now. I just spontaneously, while I had my camera and I'm walking here, I grabbed the, uh, I mean, I sat down to look to do this. Here's the flowers of the squawberry. The Indians called it squawberry. Having trouble focusing on that. There are the flowers of the squawberry. And there are the leaves. Give you a really nice close look. Sorry for the shakiness. It's really hard to zoom and do this. That's the leaves of the squawberry. And I'll tell you all about the health benefits and the facts about it. But same as wintergreen, um, to me they're pretty much the same. Although they're not the same plant, I treat them the same. But a squawberry has some health benefits, and I remember specifically the Indians used them to for the females to aid in the um, that time of the month to aid in menstrual cramps, and it made everything generally better. And again, I'll go into details on the blog. So let me show you some of the berries out in the forest a little bit further. Well, here's a squawberry. I just want to show you what it looks like. It looks just like wintergreen. It's, um, the squawberry is a tiny little ground vine. You can see how it, it spreads out along the ground from a central branch. And there's a, there's a stem going off across the ground. And they don't get very big. They hug the ground pretty close and tight. But the squawberry is a nice little treat. When you find one, it's a very nice, pleasant treat in the forest. And I'm going to have it. It reminds me slightly of wintergreen. It's, um, it's got the texture of an apple. Not a whole lot of flavor, but it's mildly refreshing, like wintergreen. Just a slightly different taste. And, like I said, I treat them the same. When I find a little berry in the woods, I um, gobble them up. Actually, I don't gobble them up. I eat them nice and slow and savor it. And the Indians used to gather these. Uh, we people these days don't really pay much attention. We just walk on them and ignore them. Here's a decent-sized patch of squawberry. See, they, they vine out and spread across the ground. Little, little vines spreading around across the ground. Nice little ground cover, and there's another little berry. So right now I have all the stages. I've got the berries. Actually, it's probably been eaten by a bug. Looks like it's been... Oops. I'll show you the inside. It looks like an apple. And it feels like an apple, the texture on your tongue. It's awkward to hold the camera and show you this. My thing does not want to agree with me. Yeah, so it, it's, uh, it's like I said, it's, it's just like eating an apple in your mouth, except for the taste. It's um, very, very mild and a really slight wintergreen flavor. So, check out the blog post. I'll give you all the details on the blog uh, and, and about about the uh, squawberry and its medicinal uses and health benefits and just the fact to me that it's a nice tasty little treat in the woods at various times of year. Um, this is springtime. Um, sometimes you can find them still running through the fall, sometimes in the early spring still, depending on uh, if the animals got to them or not, but usually they're these are evergreens evergreen little plant plants so you'll find them all winter and you can dig it under the snow and get to them as well and there's some tiny little berries forming right there brand new tiny little berries so the ones I just had are probably from last year but they're still fine they don't really go bad 
Same with wintergreen. 